this is a video detailing my use with the secret weapon and you know, here's my little secret weapon that I bought I covered up the name so there's no conflict of interest with the name the company and all that as you can see uh, on the handle on mine it's really not much it's just a short distance that I'm working for it's about the last area that I'm really working on um, where I usually place my hand is about right there but since I'm not really working with that much once my hand opens you know, that's, that's really short so about there once it opens I don't have to worry too much you know I got, let's see uh, this plate comes out to uh, 45.6 pounds so this is really lightweight for me uh, four pound loading pin so it's uh, 49 something pounds you know it's really simple um, what I usually like to do on this machine uh, I usually put a foot right there and I'll be lifting like this my hand uh, will just be going down in this way I'll be gripping and it's like this I may lean over like this so it's mostly just my grip but I don't have to worry too much about you know the weight really coming down you know once it's you know and I know a lot of people when they do negative training uh, they'll just let it fight it all the way out that's not how I do things mine is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, the counting is a lot different it's not that fast I'll usually try to go for exactly five or ten seconds on this particular machine you know uh, but the, the setups really simple well, there's not much to it um, on the end of the handle you'll notice there's some athletic tape the reason for that uh, the steel on this machine when you use it too much and I mean maybe say like high reps uh, anything beyond 10 or 15 depending on who you are what you do this steel when after you get done using your negative either hand it will burn so this athletic tape right here you know it it helps um, I'll show you another technique that I learned that kind of really does wonders um, on this when you're gripping you know when you bring the weight up you know if you get your fingertips like that and just almost like it's just going you know if you just barely hold on and you're gripping at the same time at the same time you know it may seem like you're holding on to the weight uh, that might uh, creep decrease uh, everything by like maybe uh, 15 or 20 percent so you may whatever you're holding on it may not be exactly everything but you'll be able to grip a lot longer you know if you're holding at say 150 or so and you have a little trouble just simply grab this little handle whenever you pick up don't let go just use it as a means of you know just barely using the tips of the finger to assist you uh, one thing um, when you're doing this never let it just fight you out all the way don't do that on negative train if you do that you're just asking for trouble just whenever your hand starts opening just let it go don't worry about trying to fight it out that's basically your body saying I've had enough and I'm done so, okay so uh, once you get to that point you're just done and it's best to just do the same thing on this side 
and once you're done you're done now I'm going to demonstrate this maybe put on a couple more pounds just show what people what I'm doing how I reached uh, the number three certification I'm not going to be going for max weight because I don't think people would honestly believe me if I told them that I'm up to what it, I'm up to. I'm probably going to stick on another 45. So let me get this set up real quick. Oh, right there is another grip machine I might demonstrate in another video. Hook that and get another 45 on. This is 46 pounds even. Okay, now this is this is how I usually look. I might lean forward like this, but you can see there's not really much. Here's a captain's crush, you know, just barely really anything. So, you know, that's the distance. You know, there's not much. I know these things come in with longer handles but you know if the weight is too much you can simply hold on to this uh, with your tips like that but just lift up that's usually how these look then I'll switch over Same thing as before on the left side. Uh, whenever you get to a point where you can't hold on to the weight, grab this handle. Especially if it has this, it will ease everything up for you. Just grab the handle or if say the weight's too much so like you're going for 160 on this just know where it feels good right there grab just barely hold on just barely that's it you don't have to do too much um, never stay at the same weight always try to increase this uh, reps never go beyond what you know you can do if you go beyond what you can do you might end up in uh, a lot of pain or you might hurt yourself don't do it excuse me never do 60 negatives on this ever you're gonna hurt yourself and it won't feel good um, but just find the rep range that feels good for you and always perform these in the singles you know after you get done with this side and then that side rest four five hell even ten minutes if you have to just never extend yourself beyond you know nine fifteen rep single rep range after that you know say you get to nine singles both hands you don't have any more in the tank, you're done. Don't worry about trying to push yourself. 
and if you're at 90 something pounds, you know, your next workout, put on 100. Try the same method. If you can do it, you're on the right track. And once you get up to 150 or beyond on this machine, I think you're pretty close to getting a, a certification attempt. Um, no, there's not really a whole lot left I can explain on this. Uh, things that were presented in the Get a Grip DVD, uh, Joe Kane was pretty dead on on how you should position your body if you want to work like this. It will work. And, you know, never try to pull up on this. Guess what? That sucker will go up. Oh, okay. Uh, but this is usually how I like to keep everything. You know, it's just going into this order. And one thing I can say is uh, try to tighten everything up. Once you do, you know, wait. Works pretty good. Uh, that's really all I have to say about this. This is what helped me get to a number three certification a lot easier. Uh, I mostly use this. Um, this grip machine I haven't used too much, maybe only twice. But besides that, this is everything really on how I do things. Well, that's it for now.